Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Things We Bought Yesterday and Today. And again, having a lot of fun catching up on all these items that I don't have in my collection and uh, and really enjoying other people's videos that they've been doing and or Instagram photos uh, of their collections and that, that way I'm seeing what you know what I need and what I need to what I need to find and then a lot of people are seeing what I have and you know that they need in their collections so it's been a lot of fun interacting with a lot of collectors and um, you know learn having there you know finding out what I have and we're all just you know helping each other out and helping build our collections so uh, today I have some 45s uh, some a 12 inch uh, single a couple regular LPs and uh, some other little goodies that I'll, that I'll show up but first I'll, I, I'll figure I'll start with the with the 45s again been really uh, I've been really emerging myself in the um, in the picture sleeves from around the world um, I really picked up a bunch of, of another days of uh, picture sleeves from around the world. And here's another one, which is really cool. I've seen this one in the past, missed out on it, and uh, just found it again. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, sold. And here it is. This is the this is uh, another day, which is an EP from Mexico. Okay, so this features on one side another day and then junk from McCartney and then on the B side is Old Woman O Y and Valentine Day. However, when you play the B side and it gets to Valentine's Day, Valentine Day, it's not Valentine Day. It's actually every night. Um, so I don't know if that was a tempo or I mean, a, sorry, a, a typo on, on their on their part or they just put the wrong song on the uh, on the ep here so i'm gonna have to do some more research on that but uh really cool so the back is the is the same size as the same picture as the, as the front it's kind of like those japanese uh 45s where it's kind of like a booklet okay in that regard so i'll show you i'll show you the, the vinyl here and here's you know here's the the, the a side another day with junk and then the B-side, O and O Y, with Valentine Day, which is actually every night, uh, which is like I was playing it uh, a couple nights ago, and it was just like, huh, <laughs> you know, well, what's going on here? So that was uh, really cool. So who knows what kind of mistake led to that, but uh, it's a great find, and if you see it, definitely recommend you picking up because I would love to know if if your copy has uh, every night on there instead of Valentine Day. Okay, uh, here we go. We've got uh, next up, we've got Wings' third single, and that's High, High, High with Sea Moon. Now, this is the, the French pressing. Uh, there you go. There's that. There's the backside. Now, I do believe this image was used for a Live and Let Die uh, single from from somewhere in Europe. I'll have to double check on that. But uh, that image, I think, was used was used again okay so there's that and then here is here's the vinyl so here we've got hi 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 okay and on the back we've got sea moon okay this is one of my favorite early um, Paul McCartney wings uh, singles really really enjoy it I enjoy the rocker uh, of, of high the rockiness of, of high 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 and I and you know even though I'm not the biggest reggae fan um, I do enjoy sea moon uh, quite a bit so okay there's that next up is a uh, European single uh, this was never released as, as a single here uh, in the states and I'm talking about this is Vanderbilt okay now i love this image of linda this is the image uh, used on like that you see on the back of band on the run okay so there's the front and then on the back there you see that it's backed with bluebird um i do have a couple other co uh, versions of this one as well this is the portugal uh pressing or portuguese however you want to say uh it's got the uh, the lyrics of mrs vanderbilt on the back there and they're actually uh in english <laughs> okay 
I uh, figure it might have been uh, in a different language there. But uh, again, now this is the uh, the, the Portuguese um, version. And here I'll show you the vinyl. Okay, so again, we've got the, the green apple on one side for Mrs. Vanderbilt. And then we've got bluebird as the uh, b side again you know mrs vanderbilt is a, is a is a good deep cut from 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 the album it's it's one you don't hear all the time which is rare from that album because it just seems like you hear every song all the time on on band on the run but um you know mrs vanderbilt has been one of those songs on the album that i haven't grown tired of tired of yet so again there's uh there's uh, the Portuguese version of Mrs. Vanderbilt, okay? And lastly, for the uh, the seven-inch singles, we have one of my favorite uh, picture, picture sleeves of all time from a, from a Paul or, and or Wings uh, 45, and that's this version of Getting Closer, okay? And it's got a pretty cool pic uh, with Baby's Request. Obviously, that's a shot from the, the video that they, uh, they did for the um, Back to the Egg TV special. And, um, you know, on my other show, Talk More Talk, we were just at the Beatles, the Fest for Beatles fans, and we got to talk to Lawrence Juber uh, a little bit about the TV special. And that's a great, great uh, hairdo he's got there. Huh? Um, this is the EMI version and i tell you i i really dig i really dig the uh the the 45 i love the uh, the fried egg there in the middle on the label and then on uh, baby's request there you go as well again i i think this is a great great 45 uh too bad it didn't uh do better but it still is a top 40 hit here in the states okay um, next up, I'm going to show you a book that I've been looking for. I, I, I've known of this book for a while, but I uh, haven't found one uh, at a decent price. Um, I do have a, 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 a half price books here, which I think is more of a, a you know, Midwest, uh, West Coast uh, uh, book chain. And um, I was able to find this book here, The Longest Cocktail Party. As okay, the longest cocktail party, and this is by Richard Dialello. Um, I'm probably screwing that up, but uh, but Richard here, he was uh, a, a part of that whole scene that was his, the, with the uh, the Apple Corps. That was his, the, their biz, the Beatles business, and um, it says here that uh, Richard uh, uh, was a um, worked at the London headquarters of Apple, the Beatles' erotic enterprise and pop music from the summer through August of 1970, advancing from the position of house hippie <laughs> to the, the brief and final role as director of public reations. Um, so this was, again, his, his, this is like his diary. This is his um, recollection of, of that, that uh, time. And this is the first uh, printing uh, of the book. So really happy to uh, have found this. And I, I'm just really fascinated by that whole period you know 68 they they start this business and you know it's it's just a whirlwind of you know of meetings and and you know i mean if it wasn't for this you know alan klein probably wouldn't have entered their their lives but uh this is a good companion to the a is for apple um of books and hopefully we're going to get the announcement for volume four of a is for apple real soon okay and here, let's go. You know, I was out and about uh, the other day um, looking for a few things. I know we've got, I think I did show this. If I didn't, uh, here it is. Here's the John Lennon pop uh, figure that's been, um, uh, that was released uh, a few months ago. And there, there are other versions of that. And I'm slowly starting to find the other versions. Now, here's the, uh, the same one that I just showed you, but it's all white with the the with the psychedelic uh color and the sunglasses uh so i was happy to find that it goes goes well you know right next to the other one okay so showing a little love for for lennon because i do love john lennon um okay uh the blu-ray here now one of my favorite there's a lot of great concert films out there 
okay and one of my favorites of all time is is the last waltz and um i've had this on blu-ray from another company i think mgm released it on blu-ray several several years ago and i haven't had it for a while and i just love watching there's a lot of great performance great performances on this one and and people who know know that Ringo Starr was uh was on stage for for a couple songs on this and so that's the Beatles connection you know right there um surprise George I don't know what George was doing at the time because uh George was a you know a friend of of Dylan and the band uh Dylan is on here as well as um uh Neil Diamond Neil Young you got Eric Clapton Joni Mitchell Van Morrison who does one of the great uh, great performances on here. Uh, Amy Lou Harris, Muddy Walters, um, you know, Ron Wood, Dr. John, uh, Paul Butterfield, and Ronnie Hawkins, the Hawk. So a lot of great, a lot, a lot of great performances. This whole thing is spectacular. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely recommend it. But this is the Criterion Collection version that just came out. And uh, I haven't watched it yet. And hopefully I'll get a chance and uh, play it really loud because it's a great rocking concert film okay so check that out um okay lastly i'll show you the uh, the 12 inches uh first up will be a 12 inch single for birthday okay i believe this was 1990 okay this was backed with uh on the uh on the a side with good day sunshine uh the b side <laughs> maybe maybe uh arguably one of the worst things paul mccartney has ever done p.s love me do and uh let them in okay uh the ps let me do was recorded at uh in rio uh, let them in was recorded in uh, tokyo uh you got birthday recorded in nebworth and then um uh, good day sunshine was uh, recorded in um montreal so obviously these were all tracks from the 8990 uh tour world tour and uh here you go so i'll show you Show you the vinyl here. So again, here's the, uh, the flip side. A lot of great shots of Paul on that tour. Okay. So there you go. Here's the, this is the Parlophone. Uh, this is the A side here with Good Day Sunshine and Birthday. And then you got the, the B side with Love Me Do and Let Them In okay so my my 12 inch singles collection is nearing completion getting really close need a couple more and uh i can uh finally lay <laughs> that to rest okay um you know i i've i've had the, the 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 original pressing of of new on vinyl since it came out so when um the reissue, reissue came out i think it was in 2017 uh with the with the black and and pink vinyl i was like ah, well i i don't i really don't need it but um you know i was at my record store and i've pretty much exhausted all of the mccartney there but they did have the uh the new pink vinyl right there okay which is really cool looking um i'll show you that okay it's kind of translucent a little bit but uh um it's a you know a darker pink it's not a really a bright pink um however you might it might look different in a different lighting but uh, you know again nope oh, butterfingers here okay there you go and there you go okay and lastly is you know again another um started getting vinyl collecting vinyl again in late 2015 and i saw this one a couple times and i figured well okay since it's kind of newer it'll be around a little longer you know so i don't have to get this one right away i can get other stuff that i want a little bit more but then when it was time to go back and find it it was gone and that is is on the bottom now this became scarce and then you know people started just you know charging or asking you know cr ridiculous prices uh for this this is a double lp uh each each side will have uh four two three tracks on on each side so again you know then you got to open it up and you have some pictures of the of the recording of kisses on the bottom 
And uh, again, it's just uh, the, the, this period of, of the late 90s to, you know, the 2010s when, when vinyl was, you know, not as big as it is now. You know, these, these, these titles tend to go for, for big bucks and we, we've looked at that in the past. Um, but I found this one at a decent price, one that I, a price that I didn't mind paying. And, um, you know, I'll just show you, show you the vinyl now. So I'll just take one out and I mean, they're both, uh, you know, look the same. So, uh, here you go. There's that. So that's kisses on the bottom. All right, glad to have finally have that in my collection. And uh, you know, the LPs are, are starting to wind down as well. Uh, I wanna thank everybody for, for watching uh, these, these shows that Andy and I have been doing. I wanna thank everybody for helping us get to uh, 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, can't thank you enough. And uh, we've got a lot of great shows planned for the future so again everybody out there thank you very much for watching this installment of things we bought yesterday and today and i will see you soon so long